disoriented by your smell. I can't remember your name. I dip my finger into the depression where neck and shoulder and clavicle intersect and ask, is it you? Are we here again? Never have the borders of my body been so blurred. Your flesh mine, my flesh yours, the free exchange of fluid, the reckless drawing of blood. There is no intimacy like a wrecking love. Some nights I lay in our bed awake. These nights stretch. I stand from the bed, sit on the toilet, bore of masturbating, open and close books, remove layers of clothing, layers of blankets, eat ripe fruit over the sink, wipe my face with the dish towel. These are my most honest nights. Since the untangling, the lovers have been kind and clumsy and graceful, hungry and apathetic. I couldn't say how many. It doesn't matter. They are not enough. Lately, I prefer to find myself here, curled upright in the bathtub, chin between the twin flats of my knees. When I am alone, I am almost enough. In daylight, I face others propped upright, wounds dressed, wrapped in hard plaster. Underneath the casing, I am all hollow. I think you are boring, boring, boring. I read many interesting things. I am so smart. I read things most people wouldn't even want to. While I read, my mind wanders to fixate on men who think I'm great, but not good enough. There are plenty of men like that, and they confirm what I recite in my head in your voice. Not enough, not enough, not enough. When I meet a man like that, the longing is unbearable. The last time you were in this bed, it stood in the little house we bought. We had given up. You were on edge, drinking too much, pacing late into the night. I'd pack for my impending move, go to work, and return to find my things unpacked. It was like that for us. You showed love through bared teeth. I offered sex as sedative. That last night you woke me, stood over me with a flashlight and asked, are you okay? You were crying out in your sleep. I lifted the covers, allowed you to lay beside me. To fuck dangerous men to sleep is not unlike the circus trick of sticking one's head into a lion's gaping mouth. There's a certain glamour and giddiness to escaping unscathed. But I never cry out in my sleep. When dreaming of my own death, I fall silent.